What is going on, everybody? It is David Palmer, the Leo King, and I am here for my show, Astro Buzz, where I go deep into the astrology and combine it with whether it's in the news, politics, sports, all aspects. And this is my special edition because tonight we are going to be talking about the inauguration of Donald Trump and what a wild time in the astrology that this is. I have a very deep message to everybody out there in the spiritual community about this process and I actually even recorded a, a big segment tonight that I will be playing about what I feel about this whole process going on with Donald Trump, what I feel uh, is going on in the universe. Of course, from a fun perspective, I will say that when I air and before I air this, I just want to let people know that I recommend mature audiences only because I tend to cuss, swear, and speak about subjects that have a very deep and intense aspect Definitely rally people up, and I want to make sure that people know that before they start watching this. So we've got a lot to cover today in the studio here because there is a lot to talk about. I actually believe that the event that is happening right now within the next less than 24 hours, I mean, this thing is going down in about 12 hours, um, the process of Donald Trump being elected is one of the most powerful spiritual tests of all time. And of course, I got all my screens going here. I have a lot of information. Believe it or not, I even filmed this huge segment last night that really I wanted to give my point of view, but I felt that I also needed to do a live show to not only connect with you in the chat room, with my, which by the way, we are live in the chat. So if you want to talk with us, I am live on my iPhone on Facebook in the chat, ready to talk with you. And I think that it's important for people to get out a lot of their stuff. Now, I'm going to say this before we go into the deep nitty gritty of Donald Trump and everything that is going on with it. And before I get all the, well, the best way I could describe it, before I ruffle everyone's feathers, I think that it is so important that during a time like this, that we need to realize that we are the collective conscious Ness. So whether you agree with Donald Trump or you don't agree with Donald Trump, that this is a moment in our collective consciousness where we have to rise above it. We have to rise above and we have to be on a much higher plane of understanding. We need to be on a much higher plane of what we contribute to the world, what we contribute with our voice, what we contribute with our energy is what affects the universe that we're in. And I truly feel that right now in the universe, I am seeing nothing but hate and people justifying their hate. There was actually an astrologer I saw that I worked with recently pushing up like this whole war for, for, for love, like, like as if we're going to war now. I think it is so dangerous right now to push negative energy, period. Push negative energy to Obama is bad. Pushing negative energy to Donald Trump is bad. This is a time where are you allowing yourself to completely be taken over by this so much that it's affecting your life? It's, it's allowing you to be completely drained energetically and lose all of your energy by fighting for some certain position in life when both sides of the fence, we all know, do not work. But I have seen a massive corruption on the highest scale in not only the media, but also in the spiritual community of people losing themselves as into dropping their spiritual selves and becoming what they don't want to be. A lot of news organizations, a lot of places are trying to say when Donald Trump uh, or when, uh, when Obama came into office, you know, the other side didn't like him and all protested him and hated him. So I, I think it's interesting that it gives credibility for people to say, well, they did it, so I'm going to do this. This is a time where it's like on a higher scale, do you really, really want to put that much into your energy is into if the president and who the president is and losing yourself in this. I think people have completely lost themselves into this 
draining energetic vibration. Before I even did a show like this, I used to research a lot about reptilians. I used to research a lot about, and especially in the government, what reptilian energy is. Now, if you don't know what reptilian energy is, please go check it out. Please go Google it. Please go look up great people like David Icke, who have done a lot of research on reptilian energy. And of course, they connect reptilians with this higher dimensional, or whether you want to call it lower dimensional, but we could call it a higher dimensional being because we can't see them per se, but this darker entity that controls the government, that controls the leaders in our world. And the reason why I bring this up is because these energies feed. Reptilian energy feeds off fear. And the way that this is being used is so interesting. This ploy of, of, of how fearful to be of Donald Trump, how scary it is. It's, it's a perfectly orchestrated television show, reality show to scare you, to eat you, to eat your energy, to take away your happiness, to make you feel angry, to make you even feel all this way off a dude that you haven't even met, off a dude that said some things on TV that is taking you to where I read people feeling disgusted, people boycotting watching a lot of television. Well, I mean, it's your life. But to allow yourself to lose yourself and feed this negative entity, which a lot of people actually, it's a false front, right? The way that the reptilians do their work is they do this thing where they shapeshift and they have somehow shapeshifted the darkness of a man to bring so much fear into your life that what they are doing is they are loving it. They're feeding on you. The cattle is as high as it could be right now. There's, the reptilians are loving this. You know, McDonald's, I'm loving it. Well, you know what? The reptilians right now are screaming, we're loving it. Because there is so many people buying into the fear and there is so much of this division in the world right now of this side's better and this side's better and this side's the way to do it. And, you know, it, it's interesting, you know, the right, whether you call that Republican or whatever, is very emotional. The left is very mental. So when you see in the um, what's going on right now with the Trump cabinet picks, you're seeing this very intellectual Democratic side you know, and then this very emotionally driven Republican side meeting and they're clashing and making people look stupid, making people look like, I hate to use the term, but like, uh, you know, like they're better than other people. It really concerns me that people are losing themselves in this energy. So I'm in the chat. But I'm about to air a segment right now that I just recorded over the last day that brings some humor, brings my craziness, but takes this situation and will truly help you kind of understand how I feel, what's going on with this energy, and how not to lose yourself and to actually wake up and see that there is something bigger going on. So... I hope you enjoy and I hope that you spread this message because I really believe that you guys will have a lot of fun with this. And more importantly, you guys know me. I love to be a crazy motherfucker. Enjoy. Welcome to Astro Buzz on HollywoodAstrology.tv and the LeoKingApp.com. I am your host and astrologer, David Palmer, the Leo King, and this is my show, Astro Buzz, where I combine the astrology and all of the news and how it's all connected, whether it's politics, 
celebrity stories, sports, I cover it all. Lately, of course, what is the hot topic right now? It's politics, and guess what? It is inauguration of our 45th president, Donald J. Trump, and how the whole world is freaking the fuck out. I think it's so interesting right now because when you look at the astrology, we got a shit ton of planets in Pisces right now. We got Mars in Pisces, we got Chiron in Pisces, we got the South Node in Pisces, we got Neptune in Pisces, we got Venus in Pisces. You wanna talk about a Pisces party? What does Pisces represent? Freaking out, losing your mind, becoming psychotic. There is so much psychotic energy out there right now. People are losing themselves. They're losing themselves that Somebody could become president. And you know what? I think it is so funny because if you look at Donald Trump's chart, his chart is a crazy radical Gemini who's going to do whatever the hell he wants in his own way, in his own style, but he's going to be the truth. He's going to say the truth. People have such a hard time with the truth now, and it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. And this isn't even talking about Donald Trump. But you know what? We just have to look at the inauguration day. The buildup to the inauguration day, the astrology has been horrible. Mars has been on Chiron. That's like literally like a guy taking 500 Viagra and not getting his dick hard. Then on top of it, you got it square Saturn. So not only is his dick not hard, but literally then the girl walks out. You know what I mean? It's like, oh God. So the energy just feels like we just can't get anything that we really want in our life. And it's very difficult. It's not the easiest aspect to be dealing with. Then on top of that, the sun's been finishing up in Capricorn, it's been squaring the moon in Libra. It's like extremely judgmental times, judging yourself, judging everyone else. You're that, you shouldn't do it this way. And it's like extremely overwhelming. So I think it's so interesting that literally the night before the inauguration, the night before, the sun comes into Aquarius, the moon comes into Scorpio, and we switch all the energies. Things get much more freer. Mars comes off Chiron and Saturn, and guess what? The energy kind of comes back. Now, you got, I got to give Donald Trump some credit here. You know why? Because if you look at his chart, Saturn has been opposing his sun, been on his moon, and in astrology, that is like the hardest transit. So the last couple weeks have been very difficult. I'm surprised the guy, if the guy can make it through that, he can make it through anything. And the fact that Chiron's been squaring this spot too. Oh my, I mean, and Mars. I mean, to be honest with you, the whole world feels like it's against Trump. And I actually feel bad for him. Go look at his astrology. And the astrologers out there that know astrology, go, you know, you know, don't bullshit yourself now. I think that the dude deserves a chance. I saw a great, another spiritual channel. I think the guy's name was Anal Anonymy or Anonymy. I'm gonna have to look at it up. I'll put the link down below. But he did it so well about people needing to give him a chance. And as a spiritual practitioner, as somebody that's gonna guide people through this world, you're gonna have to give Donald Trump a chance. You're gonna and how the news and the covers and the media, remember that Pisces is what rules television, imagination, film, music, and this is where all the energy is. This is also where the South Node is. This is where Neptune is. This is a time where the media, all music, all that stuff is a, is a place that you gotta be very careful because it is not very honest. It is not very clear on its intentions as well. It's the great Oz show going on. Whenever you have this much, the astrology is just in a fucking weird space. We're also right in between the Chinese New Year, which starts next week on January 27th. What's even more interesting about the astrology, which is switching, is next week is the new moon. Next week, Mars comes in the natural sign of Aries. And I guarantee you, the week after Trump's inauguration, plus in his own chart, things are going to get much better and things are going to feel much better in the world. So stop tripping the fuck out. Wake up. Focus on your own self. Don't let the media ruin your life or all these Facebook videos with, you know, the top. It's like, do you know that these people are brain fucking you? I'm just going to be honest with you. They have square videos. And do you think that the square video actually is like a, they mess with you subliminally. It is the biggest propaganda by people trying to make you feel a certain way. They put the white letters big like Trump this or you know Obama this or da 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 and then underneath it about how shitty somebody is and they put a video of like Bernie Sanders talking or you know a big you know all these people are marching on this and you know what they do is within one second they've convinced you without you doing your research without you looking at all the facts without you looking deeply into it with you even feeling the soul of the person that they're talking about, knowing them, you weren't even there, you just seeing a quick video and just making all the assumptions in the world. I've already figured it all out, I already, I already see what's happening, this shit's already the way it is. 
That's the world we live in right now. That's the bullshit that's going on right now. And you know what? At the end of the day, you need to make decisions on your own and you need to research them a little bit longer. You need to look at it a little bit more. You need to come from a little bit of a more open heart and a little bit more open space. That's what I gotta say. That's what's in the astrology right now because you know what? You are actually psychotic for believing such a quick little video, little thing and you know what? I might even make it a square video on this thing just to show you how much square videos are fucking you up by making you think that something is real without even researching it and looking at it a little bit longer. Why don't you go look at these aspects that I talked about astrologically before you even take my word for it. Thanks so much for joining me on Astro Buzz. You can always find it on HollywoodAstrology.tv, but more importantly, you can watch it on the LeoKingApp.com. Yes, I'm a crazy motherfucker, but you know what? I'm the so, best astrologer you in the know world, what? and Yo, I'll see you next that week. That was my special that I just did. And, you know, this is the thing, all right? I believe that people... I, I was reading the chat just now, and people are like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Somebody got really upset. And then people started to be all like, oh my gosh, I don't like Trump because he does this or that. It's the same as if I were to come up here and say, I don't like Obama because he does this. We all have to rise above this stuff and see that there is massive manipulation going on. Whether you are into, if you, if you follow me and you like astrology, maybe you should listen to the astrology, you know? Especially, I did just did the year of astrology with Astrology Hub. And the nodes are switching into Aquarius and Leo. But the south node's about to enter into Aquarius. Unfortunately, the people who do this common man, uh, day, you know, uh, the world of like trying to fix everybody and save everybody unfortunately is being cleaned out. It's just not working the systems in the ways that we are. The North Node's about to enter into Leo. The eclipses are heading into Leo. This is not the time for what I think a lot of people want so bad because people still have to find their power. Power is not going to come from some external source. It's going to have to come from within your own heart and God. And I think a lot of this has to do with that. I think a lot of this has to do with personal power and learning personal, individual power. And I think that a lot of people are losing themselves and hoping for just like the world to just kind of run on its own and take care of itself and fix itself somehow. And... I think that a lot of this, too, is an intellectual battle. This is Saturn and Sagittarius. And I think that it's very interesting to see people's belief structures have become so extreme at these final degrees of Sagittarius that they've almost, you know, become like a cult. You know, whether it's the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, it's a cult. Both sides are like a cult. All these, I put it on, on just recently, all these videos that you see with the black bars on top, like Trump did this, and, or some kid says this, or this, Obama says this, is subliminally meant to, to mess with you, to make you believe something within the first minute of watching it, not even, usually within the first 20 seconds. You already are involved and you already believe. 80% of them I've been seeing from the Democratic Party, and they even say Occupy Democrats or anything like that. And I'm not against Democrats or anything. I was at one time a Democrat. I've been a Republican. I've been an Independent. I've been a Libertarian. I've been all sides of the fence. You know what I mean? So I want to tell you this, though. It's like a cult. You got, Everybody's got to be really careful. Like People are like losing themselves into all of this whole thing. And I warned about this in Portland the night of the election, that this would feel like the biggest deception of all time. This whole charade show, you, what you contribute is what this collective consciousness is turning into. And all of the people I thought were really high vibrational have turned into, by you not accepting Trump with love, just the same way you not accepting Obama with love, you failed. You suck. I hate to be honest with you. You suck. You failed. You failed the whole spiritual test. You joined the cult and you're a cult member now because you've lost yourself in this way's the right way and that way's the wrong way. And this looks better than this way. 
But if you look at both sides, whether it's one side and, you know, groping women or another side and literally killing people for money and favors, whatever you want to look at it like, they, it, not one side is right or wrong. The only right side is to bring a positive message of love and positivity and look at things that God does everything for a reason, that God does everything for a higher purpose. And if you try to go against that and try and push against that, you know, I think that you're going to see during this time, I'm not saying during all times. Sure, there's times in life we have to push against when things are bad. But you know what? We haven't seen anything bad yet. All you've seen are some sound bites and some video clips of things that have been made to make you think that you shouldn't like somebody. That's it. That's all that's been out there. So I don't know why people have lost themselves in this whole entire thing. You know, somebody in the Leo King astrology group posted this really interesting picture. And I thought it was actually one of the coolest uh, things I had uh, seen here. Um, Here we go. Okay. Uh, And it was a different perspective of looking at Donald Trump, a completely different perspective on Trump's presidency. This will make you think. And we always see this in the spiritual community. This is basically like the whole entire diaphragm of like the universe and how the universe and the spiral universe and how it works and the perfect, uh, you know, geometry of the universe. And uh, I, I think it's really interesting to see that people need to look at this situation from a more positive state instead of a negative one in order to make the collective consciousness at a higher vibration. So many people are so much filled with fear right now and so many people are filled with hate that maybe they need to take a look at the situation in front of them from a different view. Good example would be if you're mad at somebody. I got mad at somebody today and I wrote an email off to them because I was having some problems with my customer service. One of my customer service girls went to the hospital, went sick, and you know what happened? They didn't respond to emails for a week. So there, I find out not until, you know, I get like 120 to 300 emails in an hour of, I haven't heard from anybody. People are sending customer service. So I start to freak out. That's the first thing I do. Holy shit. People have been, you know, registered on the app. There's tens of thousands, over 200,000 downloads of the app now. And when that goes down and the customer service goes down, guess what? The first, my first reaction is to go straight to the person that's fucking things up and just start railing on them. And just start railing. Like, fuck you. You're just horrible. You're not doing things right. But you know. And then you know what? It ruined my dinner. Because I felt so sick. I was like. And it was right before I came to do this. I felt so sick. I was like. Gosh. Why can't they just fix this? Why can't they just find a replacement? Why couldn't they have told me? Why couldn't they have done this better? It's always like. Why couldn't they this? And why couldn't they that? But you know. I have to rise above that. And there was a part of me being like, well, maybe I'll just go, you know, do something crazy. Maybe I'll just blow the whole app deal and move into a whole different deal and do something on my own and do something on myself and get rid of the team that I work with or whatever because I've been doing, going through this for years and years and years. But what if I tried to send this situation with love? Now, there's things that always got to be fixed in the world. There's things that always have to be faced And I said my two cents and what needs to be fixed, but I also sent it from a place of love and I also sent it from a place of let's try and work this out and make it work. Instead of blowing it up, starting a war, starting a disruption. And I think that is so important right now coming into this is the collective, but a lot of people are doing this thing where they're going to boycott TV or they're going to... It should be the opposite. It should be you should watch and send love. If you want this country to be a great place, maybe you should send some love to that guy. He's going to be the president. You boycotting it are creating a more worse environment for all of us to live in. You are shitting in our environment spiritually, which is worse than pollution from cars, which is worse than anything because the collective consciousness, we are all just humans in this interconnected web of spirituality and for the fact that people to do that kind of stuff and put that shit into the world and put all that hate is purposely orchestrated for fear to make this place not a good place 
it's just extremely sad. It's extremely sad. And somebody says, he started the war. That's the exact idea that is what is making a war. Is saying he or she. This should be not even about either, either side or anything except send love to a person who what I showed earlier in the astrology has gone through hell and back. Literally. I would not want to go through that transit. I would not want to be born with a lunar eclipse and then have Chiron square my lunar eclipse and Mars conjuncted at the same time and at the same time that Saturn's opposing my sun and my moon like I showed just in the, in the movie before. You are either part of the collective consciousness that is going to destroy and send negative energy. You might as well join the Death Star. Same way for people who are throwing negative energy to Obama and how horrible of a job he did. You might as well just join the Death Star. They made it purposely this way. The reptilians did. And the higher energies that are sucking your energy because... No side's perfect. Everybody's divided. And this is what's causing all of this disharmony on the planet. It's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's not about who's better, Obama or Trump or Eisenhower or Washington or fucking Nixon. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that shit doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the Boston Celtics are better than the L.A. Lakers, even though the L.A. Lakers are better. No, just kidding. <laughs> See exactly how it works? Why do you think sports were so big? Why do you think Rome fell, by the way? It was clashes like this. People preach that they want a world of love. The whole spiritual community, I'm going to put it on blast right now. All I see is people wanting to preach love. But the people that they're pushing, which I hate to use, and I'm not going to, I'm just going to say the people that they're using that, that they think are their heroes are pushing negativity. They're pushing negativity nonstop. If you want to change the world to make this a better place, I dare you to, sh to spread love. I dare you to come and make a show and spread some love about it or talk about it or even have the courage to say that you're going to love Donald Trump. Or even having the courage to say that you're going to love and send the best energy into this, to this nation because it affects the world. America affects the world. So we can have a great world. The astrology shows that this could be one of the greatest years that we've had in so long. And I don't think it's any irony that the dark side find a way to get all the hippies, all the yogis, all the spiritual people and literally curse them with anger, darkness, and fear, and have them throwing up all over the internet and having them throw up all over everyone. Because every person I meet that does that, when I meet them in person and I say, oh yeah, I hope Trump does well, look at me like I'm crazy and go, I'm trying to boycott it and I'm trying to do this and I'm going to do a meditation that's going to be go totally against him. It's like, that is quite an oxymoron. If you ask me, that is the biggest of oxymorons. You're going to Meditate against somebody. Somebody asked, where is my trust, David? My trust is in God. My trust is in that the universe is perfect. My, my trust is in that if you look in weird places, you will see things that you didn't see before. You know, it's interesting when you look up at Donald Trump's chart, right? Actually, I, actually, I, I have it here on uh, my paper. Oh, no, actually. Oh, yeah, I do. I should have it on here. No, I don't. But I can load it for you. Uh, select from file, samples, Donald Trump. When you look at Donald Trump's chart, okay, look at, he's a sun conjunct the north node with Uranus there, okay? This guy's here to take us to places we've never thought of been before. Uranus rules the heavens. People might think I'm fucking crazy for saying this, and I've been saying this for seven, eight, nine, I think even almost 10 months now. I don't even know. It's been so long. 
But when somebody's born with Sun conjunct Uranus with the North Node in the middle of a, f a lunar eclipse, okay, exact, and on top of this, with Mars on top of the rising sign in Leo, this is a leader that's going to bring us to God in the weirdest, craziest, truthful way possible. The world has been so fucked up that people actually expected some sort of different perspective of how we're going to get to a better world. Like, as, and, and the way that the reptilians are doing this is they are making it seem like a perfect person or identity is out there, some savior that is non-existent and that wouldn't take us there anyways. It would be like a slick-talking Mitt Romney or a slick-talking whoever do you think is going to save the day. No. The universe is going to send somebody that is fucking weird, crazy, and going to do whatever it's going to do. And so as an astrologer, that's all I can look at. That's all my trust is in, is in the planets. And that's what the planets say. We weren't ready for Hillary, which was a much different chart, which was a much more secret, deep not revealing, and to be honest, didn't want to do the show at all. And unfortunately, we live in a world where it's based off the show, especially in America. And so I think that it's interesting that people are so caught up in how wrong this dude is before he's even taken the job because it's so unorthodox when... Give, give Obama the credit, too. He was unorthodox. He was the, one of the youngest presidents besides JFK to come in. He did it way differently and unorth unorthodox, too. He only had a couple years in the Senate, and the next thing you know, he's a president. And people were all crazy about him on that. Or like George W. or George uh, W. Bush. You know, he was a Leo rising like Donald Trump. They don't come with scripts. George W. Bush never had a script. Obama had a script all the time. He's Aquarius rising. Oh, I got to I got to put put the perfect story. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're just ex extremely opposite. So, I ask everybody during this moment here that you have a very big choice as the sun just moved into Aquarius, the moon's in Scorpio right now, and the inauguration happens in less than 12 hours that you should choose to watch and spread love at this moment into the world instead of repeal and spread love in your own little circle. Because I think it's the most dangerous thing to the collective consciousness to not join it and be disruptors of the consciousness and bring love into it. I think boycotting the inauguration, I think protesting it, I think doing negative things towards it is creating why our system sucks, why the world keeps having problems. It says a lot about yourself when you're out there in that street. When it came to certain aspects of life 40 years ago, I get it. I understand it. But for the things that people are protesting right now off recordings and off what things have been said but not have been done, I think that you need to, at this moment, spread love. And if it all goes to hell, which to be honest with you, I don't think so. Looking at this chart, I think that I think that you're going to see a much more emotionally changed person very fast in this next year. Just go look at Donald Trump's chart, everyone. He's got Saturn at 23 degrees of cancer. He's about to have Uranus square that here in the next couple months. And, you know, the, his lesson is to be more emotional. Why do you think he's born on a lunar eclipse full moon? He's born in a cancer nation. He's got mercury in cancer. His emotions are, are being forced now to come out. You guys have just seen his crazy wild talk. 
But there is a lot of emotion under this man that has not come out yet. Plus, he has Pluto in the 12th house. He doesn't really come out with all of his deepest stuff. And I think you're going to see that that's what's going to be coming out this year from this man. But this man is going to have a challenging year with all the stuff with Chiron and, and Saturn. But I think that my main message is to send love. If, if you want to make the best impact in the world, when you have millions of people watching and, and billions possibly in the world, you could be one of those people that send love and, and create love through it all. Or you could exit out and be greedy and put it in some other energy. You know, it's like I saw somebody say, don't tune into this low vibrational television. Like you're the low vibration by even saying it's low vibration and making it low vibration. That's the world you're creating. You are the manifester of this world. The whole spiritual community preaches the secret and being the manifester of the reality, yet they're manifesting a dark, negative, low vibrational energy with this inauguration and this president because they choose to. There was one last thing I want to say too. I just saw an um, interview the other day from a woman who was in Poland during when Hitler invaded. And she says that if you think that Hitler was anything like Donald Trump, you're crazy. That Hitler was more like a slick, polished politician getting people. And 98% of the people of Poland actually voted to be invaded. Some crazy thing I'd seen. I don't know if it's true, though, because we're in a, we are in a place where there's so much crazy information and stuff. But a lot of people always ask me as an astrologer, do you think this is like... Hitler reincarnated. Hitler and Trump are nothing alike. I hate to be honest with you. Hitler was an artist. Hitler was obsessed with his art. Trump is not very creatively uh, obsessive about things. He might be obsessed about some buildings. But there was something weird about Hitler also who had... When he was in the war and he lost in World War I, he had a bone to pick. He had a bone to pick about things. When you look at Donald Trump's chart, he literally just wants to make things different. And people aren't ready when you're in a world where Pluto and Capricorn is halfway through and people are still trying to hold on to values that are over 250 years old. And guess what? Of course... God would bring us a guy who's going to rip all those apart. Sounds like Pluto and Capricorn to me. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me tonight. If you want to watch that Astro Buzz section again, of course, I'm going to put this up on YouTube. This will be up on my uh, Facebook as well. Actually, we'll take a couple questions real quick. Anybody have any questions? I didn't even see what people were saying in the chat. Um, Somebody said, anything you fight against grows. It's an amazing analogy. I think that is the perfect analogy of how to look at this because it's very true. It's extremely true. What else do we got here? We are actually literally, uh, oh, I thought I had it here. Here we go. A lot of people said awesome. Exactly. Pluto and Capricorn, Sun and Mars, Aquarius, Ingress. Um, well, Mars is already past Aquarius, so no Mars and Aquarius. Don't know what that means. They are both nar narcissists. I guess you're assuming Hitler and... Uh, um, Donald Trump. You know, you guys, you can call me a narcissist because I like who I am and I'm trying to do things in my life and use my power in some way. You know, uh, you don't know Donald Trump. You've never sat in front of him. You never knew Hitler. You didn't sit in front of him. All you have is the perception. You know, one thing that might scare people 
is we have been told the way that the world should be based off what has been up on that television screen. And what's scary is the events that take place, whether it was the moon landing, whether it was whatever, was it real? What I'm not, I'm not saying it is. That's what I did my whole movie on. How much deception during this age of Pis- age of Pisces is true? You know, you are conditioned to think that anybody now in the world that has some sort of power or strength or wants to be a leader or likes themselves is a narcissist now. I think that's kind of an irony because you know what that does is that suppresses everybody to become perfectly little good sheep that would never try to be a sheep herder. That's my thing about narcissism. A true narcissist hates you, literally. You know, Donald Trump, I actually saw, I'm not trying to defend the guy, but you know what? I don't think a narcissist goes and hugs a bunch of veterans or old ladies or people that have been hurt up on stage and actually cares and actually always pats people on the back. Or, or, or I, I guess you just don't understand a Leo rising. I just, I just don't think you guess you understand that, I guess. Thank you. Somebody said narcissist is another word that has become way overused. I think that's a good, good analogy. Oh, so Sandy said, remember when we were in Portland, I did a Portland show and we did the prayer circle to raise the vibration. Maybe we can do that now. I think Sandy that I'm asking for people to do it during the inauguration and actually watch and send it through the televisions, send it through the vibrations instead of boycotting this. Because by boycotting this, you are in essence not being part of the circle. And I believe that the most potent time is when the most people will be watching. And so, and you know, I think that that'll be a very important time to do that. You do if you're a reality star. So, Julie, I don't know if you know, but I am a reality star. I've done three different reality shows. Been on many reality shows. That's how I made this happen. So, you want to call me a narcissist? Because I was on reality television three times. And look what it did for me. It created this. It created this opportunity for me in the world. So, the benefits of the Pisces energy at the moment are learning true compassion in every way, shape, and form, whether that's Donald Trump or the person down the street or the person that you're working with that isn't doing something right, the relationship that might be doing something wrong, the cook that didn't make your food right, the every, everything that didn't go to plan knowing that there's a higher purpose behind it and there's a better way to connect with God and a much more pure state to come into. That's the best way I could describe how to, to take the Pisces energy much better. And of course, finding a much more higher dimensional energy of love as well. John Russell asks... Would a direct boycott be sending negative energy while willfully not observing in a way in your opinion? Yes, I believe that anybody boycotting is directly sending negative energy and disconnecting to an opportunity to spread positivity and love and good energy to a person that they don't know. And if they want to live in a world that goes well, they have an opportunity to send that positive energy by not showing up? That's like, you know what? A good example is how family works. You can get in a, a scuffle. I, I have a brother. We get in scuffles all the time. We might be in a fight for weeks sometime. But you know what? If it's his birthday, at the end of the day, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give him a card and I'm going to be the ba- bigger man. I'm going to be the bigger soul. And I'm going to show up and I'm going to say I'm sorry, whatever the issue is. Let's scrap that. Let's work together. I love you. And I'm going to give you the best that I can right now. I'm going to send you the best love. I hope you have a great birthday. No matter how mad I am. (laughs) 
So uh, another good question from Adam is curious to hear your advice about America's Pluto return. I think we're already starting to see the Pluto return right now. We're seeing it right now because the sun is conjunct where the Pluto was when the whole country was created. Okay. 29 Capricorn, zero Aquarius. And here is this extreme change in how the wor government works, how politics works, how the world works. And that's America. It's always going to change. It's always going to be different. And there's going to be different changes. And they're going to be radical ones right now because Pluto is saying old traditions are going to die completely. Somebody asked, what if I had a prior engagement during the time of the inauguration and watch it later on YouTube? It, it, just know that during the moment, if you can't make it, of course, you're not a bad person because you can't make it. You live a life. But if you have an opportunity when you can and you're purposely boycotting something, you're sending a purposely negative disconnecting energy to the universe. You're per, you're, and that's what the universe is not asking for over the next 20 two months is to actually connect, to actually show up and be the bigger person, to actually show up and be a light. Even if it's something that you do not agree with at all, show up and be a light. And you know what? I am not an expert at that. I have to work on that all the time. I used to not like Obama at all, but over the last couple months, even though I don't agree with a lot of things that I have about him, I was like, I honored the man. I gave him respect. I voted for him eight years ago. And I was like, you know what? I voted for him. I honored the things that he did. I send him love. I hope that wherever he goes next is good because I want to be the bigger person. And with Trump, there's a lot of things I don't agree with either. There's a lot of things that I'm like, ooh, did you really do that? Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. But you know what? I look back at my life and I look at all my reality television shows and the things I've done. Go look it up. Type in David Palmer, Leo King, reality TV. Go look at all that shit I used to say and do. And you know what? I've learned a lot from it. And I would hate for somebody to judge me for what I do now off what I did 10 years ago on reality TV, even going back 12 years. It must be hard for my fiance to watch me on an old reality show that will never leave television, that will never leave in my life with some crazy girl stripping on top of me or whatever. Like that's something I'm going to have to live with the rest of my life. That's something that I had done at one time. I would hope that people would know that the work I'm doing and whatever I'm trying to do is positive and to not base my life off what I did then. I have to live with that. So, I'm going to take off now because I just feel that I think we are done here. I'm going to be sending a lot of good energy and positive love to Trump to do the right thing. There's one thing in life in the spiritual community, it's, and I believe it's called the rite of passage. And the rite of passage is to do the right thing. I had a spiritual teacher in my life who came into my life and it was interesting that he got brought up today and I don't think he does that anymore, but I'm not going to get mad or upset or anything, but I know I'm going to do the right thing and I hope he does the right thing. The right thing is doing the right thing, being a better person, not disconnecting all the time and learning to be a light, learning to love, learning to connect, learning to find common ground, no matter how uncommon or how weird or how upset you might be about something. And learning to be a leader of love, learning to lead from your heart, to love in all aspects, in all ways. When there are disagreements, you still show up with love at the table. You still show up with every way you can to bring positivity into the world, to bring a better aspect to it all. And if it doesn't work out, you still leave with love. If they still affect you in a way that you hate, you still leave with love. You come in with love, you leave with love. And you know what? The biggest test 
for this country and more importantly for the world right now is whether or not they're going to show up in love or not. And you know what? The ones that aren't are clear as hell that you know don't want to do the real work. And this, to me, Donald Trump is one of the highest spiritual work things we've ever had to face as a people to accept and love somebody that goes against all of the things that maybe you have ever thought are right or wrong during a time when we are challenged to even realize what is right, what is wrong, and whether or not we can just bring love to the table and see if he will reflect that back into our lives. Because the reflection that he'll reflect back will be the one that you choose to put out tomorrow or not. Thanks so much for watching me. Thank you so much for being a part of the Leo King Network. Please watch me on my app. If you didn't know, every day you can watch me on my app where I literally talk every day, have live videos, have horoscopes, have tarot videos, have sun sign horoscopes. It's all there, the leokingapp.com. Thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you for, you for watching, and I will see you on the next Astro Buzz.